UIs. Love them or hate them, I think every web developer inevitably have to do something with UIs. Today, I will talk about UIs and which UI library I use, how I style my apps. I am Nev, I'm a dev, and yeah, like I said, I have been a web developer for three years. Yeah, I started with bare CSS, of course, like probably every web developer, and I found the joy of Tailwind CSS. Yeah, now, then I later discovered Svelkit, but yeah, let's actually go ahead to the basics. So I think Tailwind is right now undefeated when it comes to styling. I think I think no library does styling as well as Tailwind does. I know there's Bootstrap. I know there's so many different like approaches to doing styling. But I just think Tailwind CSS is the best option. It was a bit controversial at first, but I'm now convinced that it really is. It must be like, dude, this is pretty crazy what you can do with Tailwind CSS. And I even did all the apps with it. For example, if you go to react.nevilbrem.com, this is my old website. It was entirely written in Tailwind CSS. Looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, I was pretty proud of this uh, thing, but it needed a rework and I was not really happy with how React worked. And this is why I later discovered Svelkid last year. And I gotta tell you, I fell in love with Svelkid because of this one. This is Skeleton UI, and I'm going to show you what it is right now. So I think they demo that pretty well on here. They have a light switch. They have so many cool things. They have a collapsible. They have all of this stuff. And yeah, I got to say, dude, this is this is pretty fire, right? They have so many cool things. Um, I used to do so many things with that. Like modals, they are super easy to set up. And I think I think one of the... Uh, most uh, one of the best thing I have ever used in here was this persisted store. So an extended version of a Svelte writable store that automatically persists to local storage. If you are not familiar with Svelte stores, they are kind of like these special context uh, almost variables in Svelkit. Yeah, with this utility, you could basically create such a store and then Go ahead and write that to the local storage. So example, if we go to wolfbricks dot oops wolfbricks dot rocks, uh, we get to this website and let's quickly open up the uh, terminal or not the terminal, but actually the application tab. And then we go to local storage. We currently have nothing in here, right? But if we go ahead into our thing right here and we add this to the card, yeah, we actually see we have some card items in here and it's actually handled by here. So dude, this is, this is so cool. I think I was so proud when I implemented this and it was not really that difficult. Now it's removed. I can add other stuff to it. Like it works just, it just works. It works so cleanly. And then when I go to the card, I have it here. And when I press that, it will automatically update and then I can, of course, also check out like. I think this is this is just so cool, right? Um, I love that. So. Skeleton UI, I settled with it for a few months. I even built CoDoodle on it. CoDoodle.NevilleBram.com is also built on Skeleton UI. So you may realize something in here. So we have Wolfbricks.Rocks and we have CoDoodle. We would also have my old portfolio, which has been updated with Astro, so I don't use it anymore. These are both made with Skeleton UI. I think you can probably see this. If I press this button, it will get a bit scaled down. And in here, if I, I don't know, press this button, it also gets scaled down a bit. So this is pretty nice, right? Um, I really like this. Skeleton UI is just, it helped me out a lot of building uh, so many UIs, but I needed something new. I knew Shadzi and Svelte, but actually, unpopular opinion, I am not really on this Shadzi and hype train. I don't know, you would need something to convince me to switch to uh, Shadzi and because I've tried porting apps to Shadzi and Svelte and I don't know, it just wasn't such a convenient thing. I really like to just have utility classes and build stuff myself. Of course, I can redo the components that are actually in here, like I could rework all of that, but I don't know. It didn't really click with me. Um, and if you don't really know, uh, Shadzi and Svelte is actually built on Bits UI, which is basically this. Like it looks, it looks pretty similar, right? So we need to really start at the bottom. Melt UI is like 
the basic things, just the primitives, right? We have some really cool primitives, some sliders, some input fields, some, yeah, just generally some things that we have here. For the installation, we just build these uh, functions, all of them, we built them ourselves. Huntabyte, so the dude who created this library, then created BitsUI. So what is BitsUI? It gives it, um, it removes all these primitives that we get in MeltUI and replaces it with these things. Um, you still uh, are able to put these put this code into your no I don't think you can put this code into your components folder so you need to kind of import these components yourself right and then on top of that we have Shatian Svelte which works like normal Shatian you just have everything like in a components.json we can go ahead and add this code to our code base so we can really just copy that and then go into our lib slash components and paste them in there. Really cool. I have even for a short time ported my Zenith uh, application to Shatian for some time, but yeah, I didn't really like it. And why? Yeah, because Daisy UI, I think Daisy UI is just, in my opinion, the best approach of doing UIs. It's super lightweight. And for a dude like me who likes to tinker around and build stuff, this is pretty nice. So if you're not really familiar with how Daisy UI works, I will show it to you right now. You install it pretty basically with doing this thing and then you initialize the plugin and then you are basically already done. And one of the things that I really like about this, that for example, Shatsi and Svelte lacks, but Skeleton UI has even more, is themes. I love themes. But if we go ahead and look at Shatsi and Svelte and look at their themes, you are really, really limited to what themes you can actually build up, right? It's for me, it's just too little customization that I can do. With Days UI, you can you have all of these pre-made themes already done for you. And if you don't want that, you can just create a theme yourself, like here. And I can even show it to you on my uh, Zenith project. We have our Tailwind. And here I define my theme. So you go ahead and do Daisy UI themes. And then my theme is called Supernova. And yeah, on Supernova, I just have all of these um, different variables that I have changed, generated with ChatGPT. That's why we have these comments. But I really like the theme. I've tried out a few themes, not just like this theme. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you can create your own theme here. Then you also, of course, have all of their components, uh, which we actually can go on this page. And as you can see, there are no, not so many components on here. There are a few components, but like not really that many components. Like the components I probably use the most is probably the button component. Where do we have that button? I use this component probably the most. Um, drop down I have never used. Oh yeah, the model I also use pretty much. Why? Because it uses the uh, web native uh, show modal uh, thing. Because you now have the ability to do models in vanilla HTML, which is pretty fire, right? And yeah, just Daisy UI, I think, is just my component library. And it's my styling library that I will use probably until something really changes the way I write UIs. Another reason why this UI is because I can use it everywhere and I will have consistent styling. So for example, we have barmaids.ch, which is a little website I have built for a kind of discontinued project of me and my friends. I have built, of course, nevillebrand.com and I have built zenithproductivity.app. All of them are built with this UI and they completely, they look completely different, right? They are not the same at all. And I really like this. Like, you just write plain Taiwan CSS. Of course, there is this little section on Shatsi and Svelte where we go to docs and then installation. We can see that we have some cool, like, um, guys for how to install them. And particularly, the Astro is very interesting for me because I use Astro and Svelkit all the time. I made a video about it, I will link it up here. But I use Astro and Svelkit as kind of companions, you know, because I can share components, I can do all of this stuff. So maybe Shatsi and Svelte will come up 
um in a future project but right now i just don't have plans to do it and one of the reasons why is just i think ui has become so so boring almost boring i will call it boring right i have the rights to call that boring i think because they basically all look the same i don't know okay well yeah they look pretty cool dashboards cards but like every app in my opinion looks so similar like this Vercel kind of styling i like it i don't know people use it a bit too much so that's why i don't really like Shazian or i don't use it right now this will probably change of course because i thought i would settle with react for my whole like developer lifetime so yeah that was just like a quick little not rant but like a quick, uh, little talk about uh, what i think about ui libraries and what i use and what opinions i have of them um yeah if you want to discuss feel free to write some comments um but don't be mean to me or anybody else because these are just my opinions and you have the rights to have any opinions you want. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, then I would be glad if you left a subscription and like this video. And yeah, if not, not too bad. But yeah, if you did, also make sure to hit that notification bell and we will see us in the next video. Bye.